Hi everyone, it's Elsie and I have um, a process for you today using um, some of Tori Bissell's new collection Bliss and if you don't follow Tori um, you should do because she's lovely and amazing and she's just designed this collection and asked if I would make a couple of projects using it and of course I said yes. So I'll leave links to everything down below um where you can go check out the new collection and Tori's YouTube. So I left basically my whole process in for this layout um and this layout changed kind of dramatically. So I originally had this idea that I wanted to piece together a camera. Um I absolutely love this watercolour floral paper. It's my absolute favourite paper I think in the collection. Um so yeah that's just what I'm doing now that ended up not working out and I ended up putting this on the traveler's notebook page um so it didn't go to waste at all and yeah I'm just piecing everything together it's a really simple shape um but I did sort of print off a little picture from google somewhere um just as like a reference and to get like the proportions right because I did try drawing a camera but I wasn't having like a drawing day when I was making this so um yes google to the rescue and of course I stitched the camera um and I think that looks really cute um and then this background I originally used it for another project um which for pink paisley so you'll see that in next week yeah next week um but i ended up not using that but i obviously spent the time hand cutting all these stars out so i kept it um and so i was like oh i'll use this because um that will go really well with like the stars and you know the camera kind of thing and yeah i stitched all of that um and then i decided i didn't like it so um yeah the background paper by the way is a dilizzy paper from fine and dandy um yeah and then i ended up scratching that so then i was like okay i'll come up with a new background idea and i really like starbursts or like sunburst sunbursts i guess it's a sunburst kind of design again picking out a few different papers um, that's a Heidi Swap Wanderlust one, Dear Lizzie Happy Place, and I love the way this cloud one looks, um, and that was from Amy Tangerine Stitched, I think. Yeah, I think it was, it was the first paper pack I ever bought. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just worked, looked really nice with, um, that white thing. <laughs> <laughs> faux cut file um and I also stitched along the edges with my sewing machine um because I was very um hand stitched out that doesn't make sense but yes I was very much over the hand stitching as um yeah from when I made the star background but anyway machine stitching looks good too and then I just wasn't loving it. I just couldn't get it, the photo and like the camera to work. Um, I think if the camera was smaller maybe and the photo was smaller, it would all kind of fit. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it just wasn't, it wasn't sitting well with me, I guess you could say. So then um, I sat on it for a night, had a think, and then came up with a whole different idea. Um, so, I love the collection because it's got all these like kind of citrusy um sort of summery thing <laughs> it's really great describing um yeah it's got all these like citrusy things and so I kind of thought oh I can make like a summer layout and oh my god that's the fattest pigeon I've ever seen sorry <laughs> It's like this pigeon just wandering past my window and it's really massive. Anyway, um, that was a total squirrel moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I decided to go on the citrusy thing and I have all these summer photos and I knew I had like sort of summer kind of um, summer inspired like papers and things in my stash that would work really well. 
so I printed out some more um, papers and patterns and things and then drew a little like kind of mojito-y pina colada I guess this would be that's like the glass pina coladas go in um, I'm not a massive fan of pina coladas just as a side note um, I'm not a fan of pineapple so mojitos are my poison <laughs> um, anyway so yeah I'm just making little straws I love that little like lemon wedge I think I cut that out from a um, project life card maybe um, and yeah the drink um, the pattern I use for like the glass drink thing is really subtle um, and you can't see it now at all because of that stream of light um, <laughs> but it's kind of like a very like subtle like pink and orange watercolory kind of effect and yeah it just suits the drink idea really well so yeah making a little umbrella as well for the drink because you know drinks are always better with little tiny umbrellas in them um and yeah just pinks teals and yellows absolute favorite color scheme so then I tried a different background. I was like, I'll do some mixed media and um, do the packaging technique because that would look fun. Um, and then, so this is my Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolor set. So I'm just, you know, getting some color down. And then I hated the way it looked. Um, I could have probably made it work, but no. Um, so then, the final background. I told you that this layout went through all the... it went through a process <laughs> and I yeah found this stencil in my stash. This is um, a really weirdly shaped stencil because I cut the actual stencil apart because it's the one from Heidi Swap. I think it's called confetti stencil or something like that but it's got like a section of hearts and stars and then these like bubbly things um, and yeah I thought they would quite go quite well with the whole kind of drinking thing um, well not drinking thing but you know the cocktail thing that I made so ended up going with that and a white and white and I loved it so <laughs> oh you know I tried other things and I have a few backgrounds now that I can use um, for other projects so all is not lost and I ended up really liking this layout I'm way preferring it than um, the others so yeah I'm per glad I persevered with it um, as you can see I changed my photo this photo went better with you know like kind of summariness of this page um, this photo was taken in Turkey um, when I went on holiday with my friends and I haven't scrapped much of these photos um, so I was glad to get this one in the album um, yeah it just went like the photo just matched better with the design and things um, this photo was taken on a trip we all went on for like a day it was like this boat trip where they just boated us around <laughs> uh, the Mediterranean basically and it was great so we got to swim in the sea lots and yeah it was just really nice and chilled and yeah it's great so yeah I just thought this you know it went better with um, this design basically and yeah I just love how summery this page is I think it's close cause <laughs> cause the um clocks have did they go forward or back I think they went forward but anyway so there's more like daylight hours now and it's just great um <laughs> I'm definitely more of a winter person um but I need sunshine so I really like the sunshine but I really like being cold um instead of hot so it's a bit of a I don't know a cold but sunny winter's day is like my perfect weather um <laughs> but yeah you don't really get that over here so 
I just have to try and deal with the heat. <laughs> Uh, although it doesn't really get hot in England. It just gets like really gross and muggy. Anyway. So I pulled some bits and pieces from a few collections that kind of all followed like a similar colour scheme. So I mainly used the Simple Stories Sunshine and Happiness. I think that was what it was called. Um, and yeah, I just love this collection. And I just have the ephemera and the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and you get loads so that's great and I love that little bird he was definitely going on the layout um and then I also pulled out some what else is there oh see some fancy free um by pink paisley um oh and some of the like the chipboard flowers and things from the illustrated faith she blooms collection um so it's all stuff from like last year but yeah I really don't mind that um it's all pretty things so anyway I the title gave me so much um hassle really um I couldn't figure out what I wanted the title to be and I knew I wanted to put it in that above the photo because that space just looked a bit bare without something um and then I really like that summer sticker, I like that Hello Sunshine one, and I ended up using a combination of um, a puffy sticker from Maggie Holmes Bloom that just said like loving this, and then a sticker that said sunshine from Simple Stories, and yeah, they worked really well together, so um, that ended up, yeah, it just ended up working and it kind of gave you know using like the two kind of titles I guess made it um uh you know feel like fill that space um so it looked um yeah it just made it look complete I thought and yeah I added a few bits and pieces um off camera um which you'll see nothing too major just added a few more birds from Maggie Holmes Bloom and change that cluster a little bit and put that little drink there and the ticket and sequins of course sequins so yep that's everything from me and I'll see you in my next video and make sure you go check out Tori's collection and Tori herself because she's great so yeah links to everything down below bye guys